Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of VA Let's Play Earthbound. In our last episode, uh, we basically finished exploring the Dusty Dunes Desert and then made our way to Foreside. Uh, started exploring a bunch of the city. We ended up finding, <clears throat> quote unquote, Master Pokey at um, some me. business tycoons building Monotoli. And um, yeah, we're just gonna continue on from where we left off. So let's get to it. Oh, Ness! While we're here, do you think we could stop by the casino? Casino? Well, I need to make sure that my poor widow Teddy Snugglewuggles a second is alright. Oh, um, right. Of course. Ness, why don't we call seeing the casino on the town map? D -d 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 um, yeah, well, th there's just one problem. I don't think we're exactly old enough to get into the casino, Paula. And yet we're old enough to handle bazookas and take down law enforcement officials? Shut up. Oh, well, maybe if we go explain it to an adult... Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's wrap up what we're doing here, and maybe we'll go and check up on good old Burger Gurgles. Snuggle Wuggles! Snuggle Wuggles. The second. The second. Really though, how does Pokey get a freaking penthouse though? This doesn't make sense. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Montali, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No but questions asked. I'm a girl. I'm innocent. Got it, Ness. <laughs> what? I've already checked out your names. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Now I'm going over this way. Okay, let's never talk to that guy ever again. Yeah. Yes, please. And we got that thing down there. That looks suspicious. I want to check that out. Uh, sir, what are you doing in this corner? Come on in. We've got the goods, G. What are you looking uh, for? Why are we talking to him? Broken gadget. Broken iron. He's just selling a bunch of junk. Oh, uh, no rockets? Broken gadget, dude. Okay, now, you want the broken gadget? Hey, guys, who's I guess if I got money to spare. Oh, wow, we are. Thank running you, thank you. Pretty full Do you now. Need anything else? Thanks a lot, bro. I don't think I. I don't think I gave Jeff a broken gadget. So, yeah. Let me give. We need to sell some things, stat. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we don't really need in our inventory right now. Um, Man, I gotta get a bigger backpack or something for all this stuff. Yeah! Alright. Um, Not a lot over here. Hello. Oh, oh th there's this. I'm very hello? punctual about time. Be careful with money. I don't look like it, though. No, you're on the street! Oh, uh, oh dear. Wow, for a city, there's... Not a lot of crowds here. Where is there everybody? There is everybody, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything over there. Let's check out the hospital. Yeah, it looks like just like any other hospital. And even the hospital's not packed. Okay, this I'm not buying. That's what we got up here. Wow. It's deserted. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Nobody's hurt. Grandma's gonna get better, huh? Sure. I'm just enjoying being with my grandchildren. I'll be better soon. Do you have grandchildren? Do I look it? I don't um, think no. so, unless there's something you haven't unless there's something you haven't quite told us yet, Ness. Yes, yes. You seem a little young for that. Yeah, okay. A little young? I'm just enjoying being with my grandchildren. I'll be better soon. Do you have no, grandchildren? No, I'm not going to lie to her. Uh, oh, at your age? Oh, the youth of today shock me. Yeah, you're telling my me. My lands! You have no idea. Okay, that's... We're leaving now. This is not a hotel. Staying for the night is not permitted. What? It's a hospital. What do you mean you can't stay the night? That must get awkward. Um, okay. Wow, it's only one grandma. Yeah, pretty, pretty good record for a big city. Yeah. Let's 
Jesus is too creepy. There's like no one here. Recently, a strange fellow has been wandering around this hospital saying he can cure you of the afflictions that we can't treat. Please be informed that he has no connection to the hospital. Foreside hospital management. Yeah, that must be the healer up there. Yeah, he helps us with mushroomized and other things. I don't see any hospital being able to take care of that. Never Hello. knows anything. Monotoli totally stole everything from me, including my house and my land. <laughs> they are evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoli. They're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna cry here in my cappuccino. <laughs> well, Aww. tell us how you really feel there, Nosy. buddy. I just said hi and all that. Ugh, forget it. Is there anything over here? I don't think there's anything in the outskirts of the city. It would have been looted, I guess, by some local gang or whatever that's in this area. Uh, reeks in here. Yeah. It smells I'm like moldy you wood. Talk to an ordinary guy like me, I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. Oh, by the way, let me quiz um, you. Uh, uh, there are uh, five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? I can answer that. Five minus I one think. is four, so four's left. Ah, uh, it's not funny. That's basic math. Okay, here's another one. You give me a chance one. to answer. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Don't say that oh, again. Puns aren't funny either. Ah. Uh. If he takes out a pie, I'm leaving. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Ooh. The next thing I knew, someone asked, "Who is it?" and really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. it yeah, I think you just had a little too much to drink there, buddy. Just, I just don't know. What? Does Mr. Zelda Guard Monotoli come here often? Hello? Time to get up? It could never happen. Well, uh, sir? actually, that's not true. You alright? You guys are terrible. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around here. Coffee's not that bad. What? Mr. Montoli is here? You got that wrong, kid. I used to be Montoli's employer. Then I realized his kings made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Montoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find all his secrets. So I'm spending my time here, watching to see if he ever drops in. That was uneventful. Yeah. Let's move on. There's a butterfly there. I don't think we need it. Um, there's a lot of junk like this bulletin board at the junk shop. Busted up. Located in the back alley of the department store. Okay. I don't get it. I heard that a guy who looks like Montoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place. Harry quietly goes in and out. But... we just came from there. No one was there that knew where he was. I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monotoli. Oh? I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. You mean Pokey? Evil entity like Pokey? You know, only in this place of all places would I actually believe that. Ooh, a dinosaur museum. Ooh. Speaking of a Topola theater, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runaway Five. I'm totally bonkers about her. You don't say. Okay. What happened to those guys digging for buried gold? If they found gold, it would have been worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt easily. Oh, if I were them, I'd go to Japan and, you know, live it up. Wasn't that that guy we gave those french fries to? In the old days, Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Gotta add, in, add that in there, sir. Now he has the power to control the police force. 
I don't think the city of Foresight is better than before. Not really intimidating if all he has is the police force. Yeah, let's check out let's check out the museum. Let's check out the museum here. Ooh, fascinating. The dinosaur museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. Aww. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to go see the dinosaurs, pay five dollars a piece for the entrance fee. Is that okay? Sure. Fine. Please enter. You'll find the academic researcher inside. Great. Okay, sure. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! It's not like we don't have the money for it! Whoa! I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Huge! Not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. Sorry. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. They are fascinating. Yeah, they probably should. All right, excuse Indeed. me, excuse me, miss. Is that, is that it? Hello. I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs, huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. Uh, you want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I heard that dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scaraba, and there were lots of them. What? Dinosaurs? Live ones? There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some natives there. <gasps> if you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Uh, yeah, how about Come no? back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Okay. Okay, I think somebody's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over there. Let's let's just nod and smile and leave. I want to see dinosaurs. Sounds dangerous. They are fascinating. But they ate the natives. But but dinosaurs. What, Je Jeff? Jeff? No, we're done. We're done. I want to see dinosaurs. I want to get out. All right. Tapola Theater. Ooh. Oh wait, this is where the Runaway Five are. Do you want to buy a ticket? Thirty bucks, please. Thanks a lot. Please have your tickets ready. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. Oh wow, we can we can check out the Runaway Five. Huh, should be interesting. Oh, uh, whoa, this is a lot fancier. Wow, this place is so much bigger. Heck of a lot fancier than the, the one in Tucson. The Chaos Theater. When this arrives, the Runaway Five told me to let him in, so please, come in. Well, that was easy. Hey guys, how's it going? We are so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Oh no! Shuck, shuck, what shuck. happened? Oh no, don't tell me. Again, we've been cheated by a theater owner. <gasps> Great. We're stuck here with a phony contract! Oh yeah! Aww. Oh, that's sad. We are so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Shuck, shuck, shuck. Not again. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money. Your women do what to do what? Yeah, I'll say. To me, Gelgade Montoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why. It's just a hunch. All right. Well, good luck on your performance, guys. Jeff, have you ever seen The Runaway Five? Yeah, I don't think you've seen them. Nope, never heard of them. They're really good. Huh. Let's see if they are interesting. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? The Runaway Five! Yeah! Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four, five! All are happy now.
our happiness. happiness. All our happiness. Our happiness. All our punniness. Our punniness. All our runniness. Our runniness. They all rely on our little buddy nameness. We five say screw show business Save our bluesiness Our bluesiness Save our juiciness Our juiciness Save our laughiness Our laughiness Save our sexiness Our sexiness It's all been fun But it's time for us to run But we say Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Way to go. We should probably go talk to this manager. Person. Why do we always have to bail him out of this? Yeah. If, if this person, if this manager's anything like Poochie Fudd. So you were Runaway Five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. What? A million? If they break what their they... contract, they'll be a deep doo-doo with the police. What do they do? The police will probably say, Hey, you guys! Or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. That's a lot of money! You'd have to buy buried gold or you'd never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. <laughs> We're finding that gold. No, no, I'm not gonna do all this. Yes! Uh, where are we gonna get the equipment to find Mary Gold? Oh, hi. I don't know. You're the hero, you figure it out. <sighs> Fine, let's think. Um... The Runaway 5 from Tonson seems very popular. I hear that the Tupal Theater is always full. But apparently they get into so much trouble they get in debt a million high. How does that- The city of Forside has developed quite a bit since Mr. Joe DiGardi Monatoli hit the big time. It's been good for the city. Has it really? Monatoli Grand Hotel, $75 per night for a single room. Wow, it's getting pretty high. 70 oh. Are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tip. You never gave me a tip? Never mind. No. Um. Hey, you! Uh, if you meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Uh, anyway, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. And uh, uh, last time we found a beautiful, seductive woman in a hotel, did not go well. Moving on. Yeah, we're not doing that again. To be quite honest, I want I want to read the newspaper. Let's let's get ourselves a seventy-five dollar newspaper right here, right now. Welcome. Please, Angel, let's never be in charge of my finances oh my ever. Oh, what? Two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Oh, never mind. It's a two hundred and twenty-five dollar newspaper. Most... Would you like to stay? What? That's the most expensive nice newspaper day. ever. Two hundred and. Oh. Oh, I was hoping. Jeff would also fix something. Boo. Don't try and justify it after the fact. Good morning. This is a unique service, exclusive to our hotel only. Oh, really? Really? I'm here to read you today's headline. No, it's not. I'm, I'm pretty sure every hotel we've been to does this. Right, out with it. On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Monotoli. We'll see about that. 100% of that statistic is fabricated. Monotoli seems about as corrupt as... as... whatever what's-his-face mayor guy at Onet. I don't remember. Well, nah, to be f uh, to be fair... He didn't really have a giant evil force apparently on his side. Mayor Purkle's not that bad. True. We're just rampaging through the streets right now. 
We could probably get arrested for assaulting a random person. When used as a whip during battle, the enemy takes enough damage to stop moving for a short time. Gone after one use. That would have been the last thing I would think we would use a handbag strap for. I think that's about all that we can do in Foresight for now, guys. So let's let's call the bus danger. Oh, don't tell do me. Do not stand in the street. Read the schedule from <sighs> the sidewalk. Fine. Okay. Let's go back to the desert. Back to the desert? Oh. Well, I guess if buried gold is gonna be anywhere. Actually, where we're going, it probably would be faster if we just walked. Well, now we're just leaving the bus driver waiting there. Ness, what precisely does your father actually do for a living? Why do you ask? Well, he just seems to be, um, quite lucrative. What with the uh, substantial amount of funds he continually deposits into your bank account. Mm -hmm. He's successful too. Do you say something, Paula? Huh? <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> nothing. Don't mind me. If you're really all that curious, he's a hamburger shop manager. Really? Hmm. Perhaps I should reassess my current career plan. Is that why you have that strange infatuation over hamburgers and garbage cans? Dad never earned a fortune by letting things go to waste. Ew! Is that really true, Ness? Of course not. I only said it so she'd stop crushing on my dad. It's starting to get really creepy. I have lots of work to do. If I can't seem to move, I'm so curious about the dig. I can't help it. I think he should dig somewhere else. If they have a live broadcast from the dig, I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. Barbie. I've been watching them dig for a while. And yet you're right I wonder there. what they'll find. What are you doing here? Out walking in the desert must make you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? I a bit. So you don't oh, want to buy anything. Popsicles. You gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Jeff, those rockets have got to go. Oh, I love rockets. We haven't had a use for them in forever. But they are still useful. Hey. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so maze. I, I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, uh, I can oh. continue on. I think I'm a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I I'm helpless to really do anything. <laughs> Step aside and let the kids handle this. As always. Never thought I'd... Never thought I'd say that. Thirsty Coil Snake. Well, let's see oh. if we can use some of our goods. Weak. I wonder... What, let's use our Stag Beetle on this snake. And Paula... Bash it, and why don't you spy it on it, Jeff? Take that! Oh, man. No. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, wow, well, Jeff can still spy on it. Snake's offense is 52, defense is 80, vulnerable to PSI freeze, vulnerable to paralysis. <sighs> Stag Beetle, go! The third sequel, Snake Body Solidified. Nice. This is officially the weirdest battle I've ever been in. Oh, there we go. Shoot at. Shoot at. Okay, freeze! 189. Nice. Uh oh. Resilient little sucker. Out of here. Awesome. There! Perfect! That's his friends. Gain 929 XP each. Alright. Man, that dicker guy didn't even get that far. I saw his stuff back there with the snake. Wow, so first of all, that snake was killed by Paula with one uh, PK Freeze Beta, and then it gave us a chick. There was a chick. It's so cute! Is that a duck? D why is there a... Um, it's a mad duck. Aww. Oh, it's, it's one of those mad ducks. We don't really care about it. Paula, why don't you use that handbag strap? Or actually... Yeah, use a handbag strap on the snake. And why don't you shoot the duck? Paula, lash on the handbag strap. 20 hit points of damage to the thirsty snake, and the snake's body solidified. Nice. Ha! Ha! 
The other thing that happened in the last fight is that Ness leveled up and learned defense up, I think. Hi, yeah. I think you learned defense up. <laughs> Perfect. Ness and his friends gain 943. Decent experience, but what are these giant moles I'm hearing here? about? Is that a skull? Ah! Um, I am whoa. one of the masters of his own. Oh. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I am the third strongest amongst us. Take your best shot. Um, I think I'm doing this a bit out of order, then. Yeah. Guardian Digger number three. Um, since we have so many of them, let's use a sudden guts pill, Ness. All right. And give it to, give it to Paula. Paula, why don't you uh, just bash? And Jeff, spy on this guy. Take that! Real, oh, oh gosh. Power shield. It's not good. Power shield deflected the attack. Oof. Ow. Here, try this. A sudden gut spill. Hmm, level defense is 59, defense is 129, and vulnerable to PSI flash. Oh, 91. All right, let's see if I can. Uh, Sheesh. I'm gonna heal one of uh, something. Go. Life up on Paula. And these guys hit pretty Paula, hard. Paula, use a bash. We gotta do something. That dang physical shield's gonna get in the way. Hiya! Oh, geez, there it goes again. I'm gonna have to. Ow! Jeez, I thought I saw it. Bottle rocket. Should be. Oh, Should I be missed. Firing my ice power Ow. at it. PK life up. There we go. Um, let's try that PK flash. Paula, use a. Try using a thunder. PK thunder. And Jeff, use a bottle rocket again, I guess. PK thunder! There, there we go, 124. Bottle okay, rocket! That didn't deflect. What? What the PK heck is wrong with your bottle rockets? The rocket does nothing? Nice. Uh, and in those life up, it's psychic. Of course, Paula, it's psychic. Use PK Thunder Beta again and shoot PK the PK Thunder. Oh man! <laughs> Six. These guys hit hard. Ugh. Oof. Well, at least it's gone. Take this. Now we can pretty much, like, just, ah. oh, good, good gosh. That's oh, oh. the guts pill. No, no, not the again. Ah. Help, help, help with that. Oh. Ooh, yes. Ow. Golly. Please help. Oh, gosh. Ow. This thing needs to Beacon go down up. now. <sighs> nice. There. Jeez. Oh. <sighs> I didn't know I had that in me. Well, that was close. Um, Paula, we're gonna have to give you. Uh, let's give you a protein drink. Um, I never taste the best. Yeah, let's give you a protein drink. Mm -mm. Recovered seventy. Oh gosh. What the heck was this Ooh, guy guarding? Present. IQ capsule. There is an IQ capsule inside. Oh, Ness takes it. Uh, IQ capsule, that needs to go to Jeff. Jeff really needs IQ. Oh, come IQ. on, he's smart enough as it is. Jeff's IQ went up by <sighs> one. Perfect. Alright, so that mole was... Well, if he was the third strongest, then his weaker ones... Weaker brothers, or whatever they are. Is, is that a walking rope? It's a noose with eyeballs. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. Okay, fine. How cute is that? Jeez, there's got to be a line somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it was drawn and it was crossed almost too quickly to even see. What is giving this thing life? How is it moving? Why don't you bash the duck and spy on the news? I'm curious what its vulnerability is. Huh. I'm just going to take a wild shot in the dark. It's fire. There goes the mad duck. Let's see. Uh, offense is 47, defense is 52, vulnerable to PSI fire, susceptible to brain shot. Yep, you were right, Ness. Called it. Okay. 
Now I can get on with this. I don't. I think we can just use regular attacks on him for now. But apparently, pin it does the same thing. Okay, cool. Now, um, well, I'm just gonna. Just forget I even saw that. Alright yeah. folks, I think this is actually a good place for us to stop. So thanks again for joining us on this episode of VA Let's Play Earthbound. Tune until next time, and until then, love yourselves, and love each other.